15 Signs of a Fake Friend Hello and welcome to my channel. The concept of fake friends, just like people can find themselves in toxic romantic relationships, toxic friendships are very much a thing. As licensed marriage and family therapist explains, a quality friendship includes support, loyalty, and closeness, three things you cannot find in a fake friend. Rather than it being a reciprocal friendship, Leeds notes fake friends do not have your best interest at heart and view the friendship from the perspective of what they can get from you, rather than a place of genuine care for you. Before starting, support the channel by liking this video and subscribing to this channel for future updates. Number 1. They're a fair-weather friend. Does this person find a way to be around when it could benefit them, but as soon as you truly need them they disappear? Maybe they come to a party you're hosting so they can network, but when you're struggling, they're nowhere to be found? This kind of behavior is indicative of a fake friend. Number 2. They aren't there for you. If a friend is virtually never there for you when you're going through a hard time, they're probably a fake friend. Being there for you and offering you emotional support in their eyes isn't beneficial to them in any way. And when and if they do support you, it feels shallow and not genuine. Number 3. They always seem to need something from you. Fake friends tend to only reach out or get together when they want or need something from you. Perhaps one day you're surprised they texted you to ask how you are only for them to tell you the next day they applied to an opening at your job and want you to put in a good word for them. Number 4. They're competitive with you. Fake friends can be quite competitive, which stems from a place of jealousy. They may always try to one-up you in conversation, whether one-on-one -on -one or even in group settings or generally want to seem better than you. Number 5. They make you feel bad about yourself. A fake friend is not going to uplift you the way a true friend does. When you're around this person, you may feel insecure, used, or judged. Sometimes nothing even has to be explicitly said, but you can undoubtedly feel their judgment or disapproving looks. Number 6. They don't celebrate with you. Not only will fake friends not join in celebration when it comes to your wins, accomplishments, and successes, they may use your celebrations against you to put you down or belittle you saying things like that's not a big deal. Number 7. They drain your energy. Notice how you feel when you're with this person and afterward. Are they draining you? Time with a fake friend will likely feel draining or disproportionately focused on them. These are clear indicators that a big shift is needed if the friendship is to continue. Number 8. They talk about you behind your back. This one can be harder to spot, of course, depending on how careful this person it is with who they talk about you to. However, if you catch wind of a supposed friend spreading rumors or lies about you, or just generally trash talking, that is not a true friend. Number 9. They have nothing good to say about you. Saying mean things to you also doesn't have to be reserved to behind your back. Some people will say things straight to your face with little to no remorse. If they generally hold you in a negative light and have nothing nice to say about you, that's a big red flag. After all, true friends should actually like each other and show it. Number 10. They're disrespectful. Since a fake friend is not invested in your well-being, they're more likely to be hurtful, for example, by disrespecting your boundaries. Whether they are simply nasty to you or show blatant disrespect for your boundaries and needs this shows they don't really care about you. Number 11. The friendship is one-sided. Fake friendships are often one-sided with the fake friend, frequently emotionally dumping on you, but never offering you support when you need it. Number 12. They have something to gain from you. One of the trademarks of a fake friend is that they want something from you. By being your friend, they use you to gain something. It may be social status gain or to get a job, or to be friends with your friends, anything to benefit themselves. Number 13. They're jealous of you in some way. With fake friends, there's an underlying jealousy. They want to be friends with you because they have something to gain from you, but there's this underlying jealousy where they don't want you to do too well. Number 14. They try to sabotage you. Similar to competitiveness, a fake friend may feel the need to sabotage you in certain scenarios. Say you're out at a bar with friends and flirting with a stranger. This kind of friend may come up to you and say something purposefully embarrassing about you to deter your potential suitor. Number 15. Their behavior is repetitious. And lastly, if there's no sign of this behavior stopping, that's a big red flag. You can be sure you're dealing with a fake friend if this person has done various things over and over that have shown they're not a good friend, what to do about it. In some cases, if you've been friends for a long time and these changes are more recent, Lead says there may be potential to course correct with open communication. Ask yourself what your friend is like in their other relationships. If you have a hard time finding any solid real friendships in their life, 
there's little reason to believe you'll be the exception to the rule. If you think they have the interest and capacity to be vulnerable and generous with you, it may be worth giving your friend the opportunity to turn things around by having an honest conversation about how you've been feeling. However, if you've made it this far and firmly believe this person to be a fake friend with no hope for reconciliation, it's probably best to walk away. If this person consistently makes you feel bad, it's not a friendship that's serving you, and there is no need to keep entertaining that kind of relationship. What do you think about our video? Tell us in the comment section below. And if you have any questions or suggestions, then feel free to mention them in the comment section, and we will surely respond to your request. If you like this video, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.